So now I want to go into why to gain the blade, what advantages it gives you. Many of these will be very closely related to one another, but there is some nuance that I want to call out as I go through the different reasons that we gain the opponent's blade. When I have successfully gained my opponent's blade, I have control over their blade for that brief instant, meaning they cannot attack me without having to go through my forte. And so my movement to counter their attack is a much smaller and more strong movement than their attack is. So if James attacks me, I'm just bending my wrist slightly to take their attack out of the way. So gaining control is the most obvious and the first reason that we gain the blade. So on top of controlling the line and controlling their blade, I'm also constraining their actions. I'm constraining their options. So I'm controlling the blade because, as we just discussed, if my opponent thrusts at me, I can easily take it offline. But that also now is making them rethink their position. So I'm constraining their options and starting to guide them into taking other options that hopefully I have defined for them. So when I've gained my opponent's blade, when I've constrained their actions, I've also created for myself a safe space. If I approach my opponent and I'm not gaining their blade, my opponent has a very direct, very fast shot at me. If I approach and I gain their blade, I have now kept them from that very fast shot, which gives me an extra brief little bit of, bit of time and breathing room to control the dynamics between us. So I've approached my opponent. I've taken away the line. I've constrained their action, the action that they wanted to do. I've created my safe space. I've also reduced their options by at least one. So sticking my sword out there, I've now broken up their targeting into basically four, over, under, left, and right of my blade. By then gaining their blade, I've taken away the option that they were immediately, that they were originally trying to hit me with. So I'm controlling their actions and I'm taking an option away all at the same time. So now by gaining my opponent's blade, by controlling their actions and by taking one away, what I'm also doing is I'm making my opponent have to make bigger motions than I have to make to defend against those motions. So we saw that a second ago when my opponent has to attack me, that lunge is a bigger action than my defense of that lunge. But also, if I force my opponent to do a cavatione and come around my blade, again, my defense of that is simply rolling my wrist. Their cavatione is a bigger motion than my stopping that cavatione. So I've gained the blade, I'm controlling the line, I'm controlling their options, and I'm taking an option away. Well, all this builds up to mean that I'm forcing my opponent to have to take a different action. And generally, if I'm doing my job right, I know what that action's gonna be. So when I constrain here on the inside line, I'm pretty aware that most of my opponents are gonna try to come back here to the outside line. And since I know that that's gonna happen, I already have something ready for it. So if my opponent, Kavate Odin's under, I can take a second advantage which either can end in the kill or is simply a second advantage that I can then take to take yet another advantage. Now, finally, with all of this stacked up together, I've taken the line, I've defined my opponent's options, and I've taken one away, and I've forced them to make an, an, an action. What I'm also forcing them to do at that same time, if I want to use this, is uncover a different part of their body. So right now, their sword is kind of covering their sword arm. But if I force this action to my outside line, I now have that sword arm available to me. So a gain can also be a way to uncover your opponent in a way that they are previously covered. Now, there has been in the past discussion about whether the find and the gain are the same thing. And let me lay out where I come down on this discussion. To me, the find and the gain are related, but they're not the same. So a find is when I'm trying to get to a gain, when my sword is coming to theirs. And in fact, this is how the BN Anonymous also agrees, that to find a blade is when you are 
moving your blade toward theirs in order to get to a gain. And this action to me is distinct because if I've moved into measure and I haven't yet gained, visually gained my opponent's blade, for instance, and I try now to find it, my opponent has every opportunity to beat me while I'm not yet gaining their blade. So the find is an action where I'm still triggering their action. I'm moving forward, trying to make the gain, but I haven't yet. Now I can use this to my advantage against some opponents. Um, I can make them think that I'm uncovered and find while I'm slightly in measure. But nonetheless, the gain happens once the blade is found, not while I'm finding it, but once I'm finished finding it and it is found. That is the gain. Okay, so to sum up the simple gain and the ideal gain, according to the Vienna Anonymous, first, you work on getting more of your blade over less of theirs. So you, remembering the degrees of strength, you work on getting your two or your three over their one or their two as you close. As you get closer, maybe you'll work your way up their blade a little more until when you attack, you attack in opposition, meaning you've driven their blade against your guard and you have the strongest part of your blade driving theirs offline. Point number two, think about using gravity to your advantage, placing your blade over theirs. You already have the advantage of gravity conveying your blade down, and if they try to press up against it, they're fighting gravity. So that's another good advantage to use. Point number three, as you are putting more of your blade over less of theirs, and you're using gravity to your advantage, you want to also try to keep your point aiming at their body. So you're aiming over their blade, keeping your point in presence of their body so that you are controlling their blade and you're also still threatening. You don't want to let your point wander outside of their body profile. Point number four, try not to touch your blade to theirs when you're gaining. Don't, as one author says, molest the blade with yours. You can, as I've said, touch the blade. You can convey information, but do so when you want to. Do so on purpose. Don't do so accidentally. So as you approach and as you gain their blade, float yours over theirs until either you are ready to attack an opposition and you are gaining their blade in your attack, or you want to convey some kind of information to make your opponent react in some way. And finally, use your true edge as you are gaining them. You want to, as I said earlier, think about this L formed here as a pocket that you want to get their blade into. So that keeps your queen pointing at their sword, at their blade the whole time, no matter which side they're on. And that means you're also aligning your true cutting edge to their blade. This is a stronger mechanic. So as you are increasing your mechanics by using the degrees of strength, you're amplifying that by pointing your true edge at their blade, not your false edge or your flat. All right, now this video has gone on long enough. I've gone over what is a gain, I've gone over how to gain, and I've gone over some ideas of why to gain. So I'll leave you with this one last point. Maybe you can call it a puzzle. Just like I do not think the find and the gain are the same, that finding the blade and gaining the blade, finding the blade and gaining the blade are related but separate concepts, the stringere of the blade and the gain are also not the same. They are related. The stringere of the blade contains a gain, but it is not itself a gain. And as I think you've seen, you can have a gain without it being a stringere, specifically the beat, but also in other ways. All right? So I'll leave you with that. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. And everyone, fight well and fight safely.